Hey, you in there. Is your phone organized? No! Didn't think so. But after this, is it going to be organized? Yes! Yes, it is. Pay attention. It's game time. Good morning, it is May 14th, episode 14, and we're talking about two things that are really important to me. One, keeping your iPhone or phone just really well organized so you can find the things that you wanna find when you wanna find them. And two, selfies. Oh, not those selfies, we're talking about this selfie and printing your photos from home so you can decorate your house with them. And that's it, that's what we're gonna talk about today, folks. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I used to take all of my selfies on a GoPro. Quality not as good as I wanted my selfies to be as I was out there taking photographs with the DSLR. And they were looking really good and my selfies were just a little bit subpar. So, over years and years and years and years and years of perfecting the selfie, here's the way I do it with the DSLR. <clears throat> Basically, put the camera in your hand, put it like that. Or you can look at it, you choose. Take your hand like that. Put your camera in the little nest and then use your ring finger to hit the trigger. So then you can have the camera as wide as you want. If it's close in, sometimes it's a disaster on your forehead. Then you can take selfies. Takes a little practice, but when you get the hang of it, you can thank me later because your selfies are gonna look woo, crystal clear and beautiful. Sorry, I know that was an aggressive intro, but iPhone organization is kind of important to me. And I often find that when you're having conversations or talking to people and you're trying to find a photo, you like clums around, you find, you, it just takes forever. Then you've lost the person, they don't want to see your photo anymore. Let's organize. Let's just stay organized so uh, we can find the photos that we want when we want to find them. And here's a start. I'm just gonna fire up, um, let's just uh, hit screen record. Today, being Throwback Thursday, I was going through my phone, looking at a couple things, good old memories, posting a couple things on Instagram, and I stumbled upon this beautiful set of photos that I photographed for Operation Smile years ago. And I was like, I don't have a folder for that. That's not organized. Let's make one. So I was going through my phone, and the easiest way to stay organized is to stay on top of this stuff. But I'm guilty. It's all organized in there, but not necessarily on my phone. Um, so I started to tap each of these images as I was going through because I needed to post a series of photos in my Instagram feed. And, okay, we'll just stop there. And then I put this little square with an arrow and then I go add to album. And I created this just this morning. Op smile, buoy story. So then all those photos go in there. And then you can go throughout your phone and do the exact same thing. Hey, Zoo, good to see you, buddy. These are all really precious memories for me, and I want to make sure that they're in the right spot. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, and we'll add those to the gallery as well. <whistles> add to album, Op Smile, Bree Story. But one of the byproducts of staying organized is it's a really good way to get in touch with people, too. So, for example, Clive, a gentleman who I've traveled with extensively for Operation Smile, and done a lot of filming with. Hey, Clive. Um, I haven't chatted to him in a while. And here's a beautiful photo of Clive doing his job on an Operation Smile mission. So, hit that little square arrow button again, and then I'm gonna go, you know what? I haven't uh, chatted to him in a while. How about I send him a message via WhatsApp? Ooh. Boom, Dr. Clive. Let's send that on over. Next. Love you, buddy. It's been too long. How about we spell it right? That might help. All right, love you, buddy. It's been too long. Boom. Easy. Get organized. Stay in touch with your friends and loved ones. You can thank me later. Yes! Look at that, we've got a new color. More vivid, I like it, less neutral. All right, for all of you following along on this vlog, I did not post any photos from Papua New Guinea. I will, don't worry, stay tuned, Instagram. 
Woo All right, everybody, we are talking selfies, and we're not talking about these selfies. Your pouty face, whatever the heck you do for your selfies. We're talking about a printer called the Selfie by Canon. Um, it's one of my favorite things to pack on a shoot. Yes, it's a little heavy, but so worth it. It does four by sixes, two by threes, and they look pretty darn good for a printer as small as this. So I would highly recommend, especially when you can't go out all the time. Sometimes it might be a little bit time consuming to go down to the CVS or the boots or wherever you get your photos printed and stand in that line and go through that process and print them. This way, you can just print them at home. And look at that thing. Look at that thing. It's so tiny and small and beautiful. And I'll show you some of the prints. They look really good. And what's really easy is you just plug it in. But this little guy, it attaches to your phone with an app. Print, 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 print. Boom. It's really good for around the house when you've got those little frames or four by six size frames, but eight by tens, five by sevens, it does not do. So you're gonna need to find another option for printing those. I absolutely love this thing when I go on photo shoots. Yes, I do the Polaroids and the Instax and I hand them out on the day, in the moment, which is great. But if I know I'm gonna be somewhere for a period of time, I'll go back to the hotel room or wherever I'm staying edit the photos, and then rattle off a couple really nice prints. So then when I go back to the family, I can hand them a stack of photos of their family and their loved ones, and then they can keep them forever and ever. It's pretty cool. This case, great. Small, compact, all the elements go inside. Charger, um, charger converter pack deal thing. The actual printer itself. And then in here, I'm just gonna pull this stuff out. Pull it out. Boop, boop. I know it's a little bit messy, but whatever. All right, so this guy, cool. This is it. Fits in the hand, simple. <clears throat> cool, now we've got it open. Um, we'll just do regular four by sixes. Very easy. You load it in here. Do, do, do. And then you wanna make sure that you have the right toner. So this is the four by six toner. And I open the side because this is the this is the two by three toner, and I'm just gonna pop this in. Cool. And then, what do you think? You should plug it in. Plugging it in. Okay. I'm not bells and whistles, all that sort of stuff. I just keep it really simple. So in my phone. Yikes! I'm about to die. Let's record this. Canon. Canon print. Boom. It notices that I've, I've labeled it Campfire. Pretty good name. Um, so Campfire Selfie, great. And this thing, you need to connect to it via Wi-Fi, which sometimes it's a pain in the tush. You can physically connect it if you want. Um, comes up in my feed. Great, and we are connected. Cool. We'll go back, Canon, print app, and I want to go in and print a photo. What do you think? Four by six? What photo should we get? This is big! Um, since we just organized those photos into, <clears throat> why don't I go to that we story that we organized? Da, 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 da. One of my favorite Polaroid photos of all time. Let's print that one. Yeah. Select, boop, next. And then you can go in, you can add a border or no border, whichever you choose. I'm just gonna go full bleed because those are my favorite ways to print. So I'm gonna go borderless. Boom. Now it's talking, it's having a little chit chat. They're talking about how they're gonna print it. They're like, ooh, that's a really good photo. Mm, I bet there's good memories behind that photo. If you're the first of 10 subscribers on my YouTube channel today, I will send you a print in the post. You might have to filter through my Instagram feed, find one you like, let me know what it is, and I'll send it to you in the post. You'll also need to DM me your mailing address as you shouldn't put it in the comments. Deal? Deal. You might even get something else in the post. Way Boom, 
just like that, four by six printed and looks beautiful. Glossy, marvelous. Lunch break! Whoop, 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 whoop. Ooh, delicious sushi. This is just easier. I kind of like it. It's like I got a little buddy who's just hanging there. I like, I dig it. All right, so we don't want to shoot, we don't want to do four by sixes anymore. So we're gonna take the four by six cartridge out. Boop, boop, boop. We're gonna take the four by six toner out. And then we're gonna change to the card printouts. And then we're gonna switch over to these little guys, which are minis, which are quite nice. These are really good for wallets. Very good for wallets. And you know what, we'll just do, what about that image of Clive? Boom, next, borderless print. Cool. Oh yeah, and if you guys haven't kind of got on the bandwagon of these beautiful little pieces of technology, these are just little Velcro ties. I'll put a link down below, but oh, they make life so much better, keeping your cables organized. There we go. Ooh, look at that print. Okay, cool. There we go. Come on, it's ridiculous. There is a little print of Clive doing his deal. And actually, for some reason, it looks a little bit blown out, but I know that it looks good. And then on the edges, what you do is you just take it, Boop. And look at that, that bad chicken can go straight into your wallet. Clive, you're going in my wallet, buddy. Wherever my wallet is. Lost it. Just kidding. Wallet's right here. Clive, you're going in, buddy. Oh, missed you. Thanks, Operation Smile. Clive, oh, shucks. If you don't have one of these things, get it. There's a link below. I've used it for years. I feel like I should buy another 20 just to keep prints on the go at all times. It's a great way to share moments inside your home, get them printed, put them on the fridge, put them in a postcard, put them in an envelope, send them to your grandparents, friends, fam, whatever. Get one, they're awesome. Print your photos. If you like printing a little bit bigger, like five by sevens, eight by tens, and up and up and up, um, you can use a service. One of the services that I use is called Smug Mug. It's also where I keep all of my photos. So my photos live on various hard drives and they're double backed, triple backed. And then they also live in Smug Mug. So I know that all my photos are backed up. And if I wanna send something over for a birthday party or an anniversary or whatever it could be, I can just go print, send, done. Definitely worth it. Easy, it's been so long since we've worked together. Good to see ya. Oh, if you can't tell by now, I love to print my photos. Um, so I do it a number of ways. One, I print them four by sixes, five by sevens, two by threes, whatever it is. And then I put them into frames or put them on the wall. Another option is printing cameras like Instax or Polaroids. Um, I use Instax around the house, love them. Pretty simple, they go like this. Boop, 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 you can take photos. Yeah, and they come up like this. Oh, like this, sorry, cool. And then they obviously don't show you straight away, so you gotta wait. Um, another one that I use is this. This is a beefcake, Instax Wide 300. Um, not for most people, but it's actually really cool to get some interesting sized imagery to put on a fridge or in a photo album. So look at this thing, boom. Look at that case cartridge. Um, one thing that you're gonna notice when you start to print on these things is uh, film's not cheap. It's not cheap at all, but worth it in the end because at the end of the day, you're gonna have photos of people you like. Um, but what happens is when you photograph your friends, say like in groups of two or four or six, everybody wants a copy. So it gets pricey pretty quick. All right, line them up quick and easy. In, turn it on. Do, 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 do. This is the dud. Okay, this one, I'm not gonna lie. This one's tough to selfies. I don't quite know where I am, but. Cool bananas, and look at that beast. Look how big that is. I mean, compared to this one. Size difference. Sizable. But cool, then they take a little bit of time. 
I'll show you the end finished product. Here's what the Instax 90s look like, size-wise compared to finger, 300 compared to finger, and then side by side. That's what, oh, come on, weatherman. Boop. And then you can stick them on your fridge, give them to friends, do whatever you want with it. The other option is put them into an album. So you've got an album like this, like the good old days when you used to collect baseball cards, basketball cards, Pokemon cards for some. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then you can stick them in something like that. Album, printed, share, sit on couch, have moments, memories, glasses of wine, glasses of beer, or just sodas, you choose. Get printing, get printing. Now the trick, we gotta get a thumbnail for the video. Boom, get the unit that I made, that kind of makes sense, because we're talking about the selfie, talking about the selfie. All right, boom, use our selfie trick. Boom, nailed it, winner, winner, chicken dinner, it's done. If you like this, you really like it, hit that sub button, hit that like button. And uh, if you got questions, ask them, I'll answer them. Tomorrow's Q&A Friday, you have a great day. Pick up the phone, call your mom, or your dad, or your friends. Peace, I'm out. Bye.